Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and welcome to our Irish budget or all part of the plan. Um, it has numerous names <laughs> but all part of the plan is the the name that I want to go with from now on. Um, so I'm going to be doing another cash envelope stuffing. It's the first one for our July budget. So basically today is the 30th of June but all of this money is going to be used in July. So essentially it is July's money. So July's cash stuffing. Um, so what I'm going to do is, like always, I'm going to open up and see what we have left from last week. Um, and then have the cash here. I have my Sharpies ready because I have some laminated cash envelopes and cash trackers. These cash trackers are finally on my Etsy shop if you are interested in getting them. Um, so yeah, the Sharpies work with them. All you basically have to do is write it down with this. I use an ultra fine point Sharpie in red and uh, red and black. And then when you're done with it, you just get some nail varnish remover on like a cotton pad or a tissue and it will wipe right off so it can be reused. So without further ado, let's just jump in and see where we are, what we're doing. So first off, I'm going to just take out my cash dividers that I keep here in my wallet. Again, these cash dividers are a certain dimension on my Etsy shop, but if you are wanting a different dimension than what's up on there, um, do let me know because I can sort that out for you um, as a custom order. So this is the coins that are left over this week. And if I reach around, trying not to hit over the tripod, <laughs> um, I'm going to put them inside the money. There was like two euros ten left over there. So we'll just place that on the very messy desk that I have going on here. Guys, it is super messy. Okay, so um, let's see. The only one that would take um, money out of that I have left over is grocery and there is five euro left over in grocery. So I'm gonna just take that out and I'm also gonna put it inside this. Or what I'm actually going to do now that I think of it is I'm just gonna put it aside for a second and I'll deal with that at the end. So the rest of the cash can be sorted. I'll count it out for you guys first. So there's 50, 100, 150, 160, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 235 euros we have this week. So I'll just put that all down. I have on my Amazon wish list um, of I, I'm keeping a wish list of stuff that I want to pick up, um, especially for Prime Day coming up. Prime Day is coming up soon. I keep getting emails about it, so I'm assuming it's sometime very soon, Prime Day. Um, so I'm hoping that during Prime Day, one of the um, plastic cash holder things that people use will be on sale, so I can. Um, pick that up. So first we'll deal with these, which are our cash dividers. So you can see the first one here is medical. So medical, we have 50, 60, 75, and we're adding 10 euros to it this week. So, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing there. So now we have 50, 70, 85, so we have 85. So the next one is grocery. So grocery did have the five euro left over that I've placed to one side, and we're gonna do two fifties, um, making a hundred, and that's it. Diesel, so diesel was used last week. Um, every single cent and more was used. So we're gonna do 50 euros into there. Um, I'm gonna just do it like this, because I need to give Robert 20 euros. And um, so we have 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's probably not gonna work out. Eating out doesn't have anything. And I just noticed you can't see any of the, what I was doing there. And then house is gonna have 10. 
into house. So that was medical ha now has 85, groceries has 100, diesel has 50, eating out has nothing and household is gonna have 10. So these can now go back inside my purse. You can see it's just so easy for me to know when I'm in the shop, just open this and it's just right there and I can boom, pull out what I need to. So that's that and now we have this cash left here but also it's time to be doing the writing stuff. So that's where my Sharpies come in. So like always the house deposit has stayed the same, we haven't added anything to it. So that can just stay like that. Then we have birthdays. Again, birthdays has 430 euros. So these are my deluxe envelopes. Um, so it has 430 euros and it still should have 430. These um, are just laminated um, placeholders that I printed off the internet. Um, so I don't have to take out that much cash. So we have 200, 300, 350, 410, 20, 30. So we still have 430, which is what we are supposed to. Next up is motor insurance. So today, as I said, is the 30th of June. So this is for our car which is due in October and also Robert's motorbike which is due in September. So um, last week it was at 500 and 574 cent. So this week it is at 52574 which means we added 25 euros into that. So then next up is the tax. So tax had 95 euros last week and this week it has 100, which means we need to add five. So what I'm gonna do is add the five, which will give us 50, but I'm then going to take those so I can just make myself some change. So now it has 100 euros in tax. So again, tax is also including the NCT, which will be due in August sometime. So again, we just write it down, 30th of June, we added five euros, giving us now 100. So our emergency fund. So we did add some money this week, like always, to emergency fund. It is now standing at... 5,762 euros 80 cent. So that is going well. Um, we're just about finished and we should get it finished in the next um, week or so, two or three weeks maybe. Um, next up we have Ava's school. So we did take out um, yesterday, which was the 29th of June, um, we did take out 75 euros from here. Uh, so that left it with 160 euros when we took that out. So that's what should be in here now. So we will see. So we have 150, 60 and is not getting anything this week because remember we did have this fully funded at 300 euros so now I'm just kind of adding like one or two euros a week which doesn't seem like a lot but it does add up over time so I want this going properly next up we have maintenance so <clears throat> The maintenance last week was 1,048 euros 69 cent and we added 10 euros. So we're at 158 euros 69 cent is what we're at now. So clothing does get 5 euro. And there was 5 euro already in there making 10 euro into clothes. So I'm hoping that I can get this to build a bit before we have to spend it, but it just seems like we always need clothes. Uh, there's always something, but 
I'm currently doing over on my lifestyle channel like a clean and declutter challenge, a 30 day clean and declutter challenge. So I'm hopeful that um, the stuff that I'm decluttering, I am putting up on like a selling site to see if anybody wants it. Um, so if there is, you know, that money will just be going into like stuffing some of my sinking funds. Um, so, um, or else if we need clothes, I, I can just use some of that. And then plus with decluttering, the sm clothes that are too small or um, like are ripped and, and such, um, it will allow us to know what we have for sure. So 10 euros now into clothes. So swimming, so swimming last week we put in 50 euros, giving us a balance of 50, but we actually had to pay um, for September's term now. We had to register online for Ava. She's moving up into the next level and it's gonna be a 14 week course, which is 10 euros per week, making it 140. So we did, it was then oversubscribed here in the sinking fund at minus 90. But this week we did, you know rectify that we did put the 90 making it back into zero so now the next one will be after Christmas that we'll have to save for so I will um I'll make sure that I kind of start putting a little bit away every week for that even if it's a couple of euros every week it eventually builds up so Christmas <coughs> Christmas last week at 150 euros and this week we are adding 25 so now we have 50 100 150 175 so 175 euros Have you guys started saving up for Christmas yet? Let me know in the comments if you have and how much, how far into your goal are you? Um, or if you haven't, when do you start or when do you typically, you know, start saving for Christmas? How does it work for you? Um, let me know how you guys do it. I'm always interested in knowing how people, um, you know, plan for these annual things that happen. If you do celebrate Christmas, obviously I'm aware not everybody celebrates Christmas. So last week for our gas and electric, we had 577 euros, 68 cent. The gas bill came out. So my my gas company, I was with Iberdrola um, and they closed. Um, so I went through <coughs> on my um, Instagram, all of the bills that we currently had. And you can see here, I had the gas was coming out at like eight cent. Um, and it wasn't up until September and it was a 50 euro exit fee. Well then when I went onto the website, um, I just clicked on because I was looking at all of these here and um, it said that they were closing. They were closing for good in Ireland and that all of our accounts were gonna be moved to, I think it was like Borgosh for the gas and then Electric Ireland for your electricity. So I just went in and I looked around and I shopped around and basically I got, um, I can't, we went from, eight cent which then went up on my final bill to something like 10 cent uh, a kilowatt or however you pronounce this and um, so I got it for five cent and um, so I was really really happy so we got our final bill from them and it was 70 euros 24 cent um, so that was came out and that was paid so then we did add 20 euros this week as well and um, so we are up my final um electric bill from Iberdrola should be coming out early July as well so um I think that's like 60 euros or something um because again our unit rate ooh our unit rate was before we changed 27 cent 80 and then I noticed in my final bill it went up to like 35 cent or 40 cent or something ridiculous um, and we got it for 18 cent so there's always always savings to be made um, 
you know, I was willing to pay that 50 euro exit fee to get out of that because the, the smallest unit rate is really the way to go. Um, last year, because we are low consumers of gas and electricity, I went for the cashback offers and they just didn't work out because there was high rates. Um, so my opinion on it now going forward is that I'm always going to go for the lowest unit rates just ignoring the cash back because it doesn't make any financial difference to us in the long run. Um, so the last one to stuff here is wedding. As you know this is for Roberts Brothers wedding that's coming up. Last week it was at 550 euros and we did add 25 so I'm not sure why I have 5 euro left over but I do. So we add 25, so now I should have 575 if I'm correct. Yeah, so we have 200, 400, 520, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75. So 575. So we have five euro left over and again I'm not sure why because let me just do a little calculation here so it was five my thing here was 230 and I did start with 235 so we'll just keep this five euro for next week um I'll just put it here at the back or maybe no we'll just we'll just keep it for next week um, so so I have this challenge card um, that I'm going to put in the back of um, I did another one here at the start of the year it was a 52 week challenge for 515 euros so I did get a good way into that but then we went on holidays and I just took out the 130 that was in here and I used it for um, spending money while we were away so we already have our holiday booked for next year so this 400 euros I'm just going to randomly do and then maybe just treat myself so this five euro that we have left over from groceries is going to go in here so we can mark off our first five euros so again there is a numerous different amounts of challenges that i have some of them are 52 weeks challenges and then some of them are a particular like value and um, like the 400 challenge we also have blank ones so a blank um boxes where you can make up your own challenge as well um, and i will be coming out um in the coming weeks with more challenges as well um and maybe even some for kids to get kids on board make it like a fun way for kids to be doing so i'll pop this challenge at the back it's always recommended if you have these binders to open them with this because pulling them like this stretches the rings but if you do it with these open it like that it doesn't stretch it so that is everything that is everything that I have for you today. I did my challenge, I did my envelopes, my cash trackers, my cash list trackers should I say, and I also did my dividers. One other thing that I do want to share with you is that in July, I'm gonna be really transparent with you on how much money I am making from Etsy and YouTube. Um, everybody has to start somewhere. As I said before, I'm now rebuilding um, up most days I don't get a um, order. Some days I do get orders off Etsy. But um, then I'm going to be also launching in the next, in sometime during July, these guys. So as you can see, they are um, clear envelopes with vinyl on them. And I really really like them for right now I'm just going to do solid ones like solid block ones with the thing so I'll just show you what money looks like inside it so we'll just get a 50 out here we put it inside the envelope so that's what it will look like so that is coming up very soon I'll start to sell these um, in sets 
I will only have this script. I'm not selling this script in it. I don't like this script in it. So I am just going to sell it with this script. Um, and there will be a couple of different colours to start off with. And then it will be kind of ever expanding like it is with my cash envelopes. If you go onto my Etsy shop, there are so many different types of envelopes. I know I, you only see the glitter ones here that I have. Um, but there is far, far more than glitter on my Etsy shop. Um, there is like, I'll show you guys one here. Ooh. So there's just, see this? There is just, um, there's just different colored ones. Loads of different colors. In fact, I've just launched new colors as well. Um, and then, then there obviously is the patterned ones, which are like my dividers as well. Um, there's loads of different ones so any kind of cash envelopes you're interested in um, and I will be doing as I said these um, clear vinyl envelopes as well like really good thick ones um, really good quality ones so guys that is everything thank you so much for watching today and making it to the end of the video again let me know in the comments when you start saving for like Christmas or big annual events or annual expenses that you know will happen like insurance or back to school or Christmas or any of those sorts of things and um, thank you so so much for watching today's video I will talk to you in the next one bye